So on the topic of um, Asian representation, you know, here on Flag Radio, we often talk about Hollywood as observers and critics of media. Uh, but you play a really crucial role in this entire movement because you will be doing the represent representing on screen. Um, if you had full creative control to design your dream film or TV show, and you could pick who you want to work with, what does that project look like? Well, that's a big question. That's a big ask, you know. Um, honestly, there are so so many stories, um, but but that 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 must be told mm -hmm. in a specific way in in the truth of especially is when it come when it comes to something like representation, it's like who knows our stories better than ourselves. I think of like stuff like the farewell. Mm -hmm. And the reason it was so creative because the most personal is the most creative. Mm -hmm. um, and but for me, you know, as an artist, I as a human being, I'm most drawn towards like again, it goes back to like the the the, the curiosity about human beings and human lives. Mm -hmm. I'm just really, really drawn to of really character driven uh dramas especially um things that would allow me to really sort of live a separate life a different type of life for mm -hmm. a long time that's very far from you know i feel like a boring dude to be honest like you know like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like a, a boring dude you know um and and i i think like let me explore what it's like to be like a Wall Street banker. Let me explore what it's like to be a soldier. Let me explore what it's like to be um, a single dad. Let me explore what it's like to be like a drag queen, you know, um, uh, you know, in the world of drag. It's, yeah. it's like high stakes world of drag, you know. Like yeah. it's, it's really cool to me. So, so cool and so fascinating to me. And, and, and when, I, when I think about stuff like that, I'm like, you know, there are, the thing that we as – Asian American artists, but especially performing artists in, in particular, mm -hmm. our best offering for our community mm -hmm. and for the world is to do our art and, and to be on, because by nature we are on screen and mm -hmm. visible. And so more people need to see that. More people need to see what it's like. You, look, you said you live in Texas. Mm -hmm. There's tons of Asian people in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some multiple generation and that they are Texan, man. They're more Texan than anything. Yeah. What about their stories? Those are people like, hey, I want to see me like see my story. You know, I grew up with a southern accent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grew up with a southern accent. Like I grew up in Memphis, you know. I talked like this for like sixteen years and I never knew it, you know. And I I would love to see maybe one thing in particular I never see like the other parts of Asian America represented. Mm -hmm. About the dude that, that grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, you know, like, like you know, yeah. like, and, and their family has been there. Like, there's a great documentary about it, like the first Chinese immigrants to Mississippi. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yes, I mean, it's, it's, it's great that you mentioned that because um, one of the things that I've always strongly believed is, you know, oftentimes when we talk about representation there are especially when it comes to asian americans there are key moments that we like to go back on because they're really rich with history you know the you know immigration of chinese americans in california um like mm -hmm. there there are so many key moments but that doesn't necessarily mean that those are the only moments and like you said before it's like what about the midwesterner asian person who opened up the only chinese restaurant in that town right. You know, like what was it like for that Asian quarterback in that one right. town and the one that one season? You know, it's like there are just these f fragments of these. Yeah, there, there's mm -hmm. totally people like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's totally mm -hmm. people like that. And and like, what about like, what about those? And my my point is that it's the collection of stories that enriches our culture and that starts to normalize quote unquote mm -hmm. the other. Mm -hmm. And, and, and to me, it's fascinating because we, if you, I believe that, like I said, it's the malleability of our human spirit. I believe that if you live there in that life enough and really got to know it through empathy and imagination, mm -hmm. 
you start to connect to that and you start to really feel like that and you like start to be that and and then you just do that work and 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 it gives you a whole new soul and a whole new like spectrum of life and it is it, it's, it's it's beautiful to see and to see people um see those stories too and not just like new york and california yeah, you know yeah. like <laughs> or or like china mm -hmm. you know what there's there's Liz, or like, you know, there, but, but at the end of the day, perhaps I personally am not the one to like speak that story if I'm not fully from, if, you know, if somebody has literally been, that's, they've grown up like 30 years like that. I can't yeah. do as deep of a job as, you know, even if I put like a year of prep in there, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So, so for me, I would love to see more of those stories on screen and, and you know show more facets of of this of just humanity of just humanity man and 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 as far as you know to answer your question about who would i love to work with um you know uh uh, uh well the truth is like obviously like I'm, I'm i'm my some of my heroes are like some of the great actors that i see you know um i i lately it's been rami malik you know hmm. um, I, I love the way he does his work and uh, yeah yeah because he's just he's very much about that sort of like mindset uh -huh. and of just just inhabiting fully inhabiting and but from the asian community you know there's a great there was a there's a great actor mm -hmm. old older actor now but uh he he was a uh, he sort of disappeared for the last several years. Uh, his name is John Lone. I would oh, love that sounds familiar. Who, what, what, what kind of work did he do? Uh, the last, uh, the last emperor. He mm. was. Uh, he he did the Jerry, Jeremy Irons film um, M Butterfly, the the adaptation. Oh of, um, yeah, yeah, uh, David Henry Huang's. Mm -hmm. Bro, like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like he's. I, I, I love the way that they are just like transform and work. And, you know, it starts to get, yeah, transform. Man. In one word, it would be to transform and, and, and to be able to be a little part of that, to, 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 to get the chance to work on work like that. I asked the universe to bring it to me, you know, so. Awesome. Yeah. So, does, I mean, does all that make sense? I know it was. A no, no, answer, I, I, you know? I, I, I love that because, um, you know, it's. It's cool that you have this perspective of just, you know, like one of the things that you that you mentioned that I had so much respect for is talking about how, you know, if I'm not as close to that story, then I feel like that should be something for somebody else. And I think that that's such a great way of just respecting the dignity of the difficulty of this work and the difficulty of showing the authenticity of a story, because it's not just a matter of, hey, hey we're going to have this actor and, and mold them into this piece. But are they the right person? Are they the best person? Are they the person who can really embody that? And I have so much respect mm -hmm. for that. Um, but sort of contrasting this, um, you know, away from work, away from all that, you know, when you're not preparing for a role or working in any capacity like how do you typically spend a whole free day and how has that changed now that we're closed in because of covid now oh, brother i i i think like uh, i just laze around as much as possible <laughs> i'm a lazy lazy guy everybody doesn't believe me but that's why i work really hard to not be lazy i know i'm a lazy lazy dude i mean like I mean, I, I, honestly, like, I could give you, like, some of this, like, some BS, that bullshit answer and be like, oh, yeah, you know, I like to do, like, a lot of reading and, like, you know, like, I, I travel. And, but the truth is, I, I can't. Like, I gotta be real. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. The, you know, the reason I come, could bring, bring it back to work all the time is, honestly, I'm a workaholic. I love what I do. And it's really what is, to me, actually, is the soul food for me. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you know, everybody's thinking about, okay. I want to take a vacation from yeah. work. Mm -hmm. I'm like, the vacation is actually the life living, right? You know, just regular life. And then like, I'm actually like, the food is, is the, the work. And, and so like when I'm not working, I feel like actually a little bit depressed to be honest. Like, you know, I, I not depressed in like saying like, Oh my gosh, like, you know, like an actual depression, but more like just feel like this sort of, um, 
like the doldrums of the mind, you know, you're just kind of mm-hmm, lazing mm-hmm. around, you know, uh, I need direction, you know, so, um, but, you know, when I guess when I'm not, I mean, you, when, when I'm working, I, it, it was, it used to be like, you know, I, I would love to go see my friends. I'd love to like, I, I have like a little Google map with like all the little stars of like in LA, everywhere mm-hmm. I go, I, I collect little stars of like, what are places to eat? Like, I'm talking all your like, favorites like, you know, and... well, yeah, like even like hole in the wall places, you know, I'm, I'm an explorer, mm. you know, I, I do love to travel. I do love to travel just because I love to explore and experience life. Um, but I, 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 I hate vacationing. I hate vacationing because <laughs> I'm like, why, why the fuck am I going to go take a vacation? It, like, it shouldn't not... be like a set period. It should, it, it should just be no, like, oh, yeah. I'm like, why would I take a vacation? <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I, you know, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be doing my thing, you know? And, uh-huh. uh, and, and, and I'm not like trying to like escape from anything, you yeah. know? So, so, um, I, I, I guess like for me, I, I I, I just love to go. I, I one of my dreams is I would love to go see like every country in the world, everywhere in the world. I want to go everywhere. I want to go everywhere. Just travel and just experience everything. And I, and I'm I'm talking about really experience. I'm not talking about like you know like go and travel and do the, the whole like travel blogger. No offense to anybody. Yeah. Who's <laughs> actual travel blogger. I love I love travel bloggers, but uh-huh. like you know it's it's not about that. It's more like like I I. I I remember, um, so after, after, after we wrapped Mulan, I was fortunate enough to get on a television show. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I jumped right into it the next month. And uh, we went from New Zealand. I came back to LA and they were like, your, your TV show shoots in South Africa. So we went to South oh. Africa. <laughs> yeah, yo, like, <laughs> like a crazy year, you know. Um, so we were there in Cape Town, South Africa. And we lived there for like half a year, right? Wow. For the whole season. And, and so... Um, and the the show is a Cinemax show called Warrior. So, mm-hmm. so I joined the second season. A little plug, you know. <laughs> and uh, I remember just living there in Cape Town. I felt so Cape Townian. I was like, oh my goodness, like like. Or I remember even little things like they have these like mini bus taxis, like it's a little taxi. It's like a little bus, <laughs> taxi, like kind of like the local taxi system. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And these guys, I'm talking about, like, they drive, and they know how to drive. They drive, like, crazy. They drive, like... It's like neck and neck. And... One time I got in, they were, like, all talk, they're talking, like, don't go in the minibucks. Mm-hmm. No, no, they, I'm talking, like, on the other side of the road, because they need to get past, like, that's the fastest way right now. They'll just go right onto the dirt. Wow. And and and, and it, it, it's, like, everybody was shocked that they were, like, Chen, you take the minibus taxis? I'm, like, yeah, it's the fastest way. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just makes sense, like, you know. And they're they're cool. Like locals are cool. With they're like you know like hey what's up like you know mm-hmm. they just assume that you're a local. That yeah. You're taking a mini bus taxi. So like, <laughs> it was yeah. I'm talking about experiences like that. And I'm like these are things that like you cannot. That 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 these are like the like mm, like the life that you just want to. Like, because it's it's sort of similar on. to like you talking about you know having these hole in the wall places and also it's almost like you you want to be able to have these experiences that aren't just like oh this is the disney experience of this country like oh this is the you know the tour guide version of this culture like you seem the type like like the type of person who like you want to feel like you stumbled across this that you came across this in sort of your journey because that's sort of you know the beauty of travel is to really like come across thing and and not have it be sort of planned pre-planned out from dude like you know you can't plan anything you can direction you can outline but like you plan anything like it's it's there's also even if you plan it perfectly there's a sense of magic that you miss that when you're just like oh my god i just discovered it like this is a story you'll remember forever you know yeah and yeah like it's it's to me like life is so infinitely more interesting in the details you know there's uh-huh. so many things and details even like the mundane details that that's and that that goes back to why i said like you know if somebody else has lived this life for 30 years there's like a billion details in there mm-hmm. that would mm-hmm. take me also several years to understand even fathom there's things that you can't 
living in Texas. There's things that like if somebody never lived in Texas, what part of Texas, right? Yeah. Like San Antonio is very different than Dallas, like right. So like mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and there's little things. It's like what what about that like taco shop down the street, like you know, like on the corner, like your thing, and like what about that local brewery, and what about growing up there? Like that there's there's so so many little things that it's you could spend so much time on, and that that every little detail in every detail, there's a whole galaxy of meaning. So speaking of you know details i i sort of want to go into the details of, of of your experiences you know similar to the characters in mulan i'm sure that you as an artist that you've gone through your own transformation arc over the years and you know you've refined your process and, oh yeah you know as artists the the work that we create also has a tendency to um, change us you know and if you look back mm, mm over the years at all the lessons that you learned and all the successes and the failures, you know, is there anything in particular that stands out as like a key moment where you really change your outlook and it sort of helped you grow as an artist or as a person? Hmm. I, w- I, w- I would say like, you know, I, there, there, there are, um, you know, especially coming up, it was like, and forever, like the auditioning is, it, it, it's, it's different for different people. Like it was, for me, it's particularly challenging. Mm-hmm. I found it like really weird to just like, you know, like you're not immersed in it. It's, it's, it's difficult to this, like, I'm going to get out of my car and then I have to like trick myself that like some people can just get up and just turn it on. And I'm like, man, I wish I could do that. I, I can't. Uh-huh. So <laughs> not, not yet anyway. So, um, that 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 right there is just it's always been like one of the sticking points for me of like you know what gosh auditioning is really challenging really challenging it's an exciting challenge sometimes but i've had some awkward auditions awful like <laughs> sometimes i'm like wow i would like the literally i would i want the world to open up and swallow me right <laughs> like and then you go home you're like shower cry <laughs> like, you know the shower cries the, I mean, I'm, I'm being real like you know like it ain't all fun and roses and i remember there's like one when i was just like you know and i and i i was just so exhausted because i had just gotten off the plane and 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 and, and i it was like a producer session and i, I the, the project shall not be named but like i i i was like the, the the worst thing happened was like I was like I can't find the words that I need to say. Oh no! I was like I had to start over. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Oh, like string me up and take me, like <laughs> whip me, like you know, string me up. The, the embarrassment and the shame and the <laughs> fuck, man. Like you know, like and after that, you know, and that 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 actually after I kind of got went through all that because you got to let yourself go through that it's like mm-hmm. creative pain you know like you know mm-hmm. it's just like mm-hmm. oh damn it you know bombing is you know, like makes you you know it, i was like how can i become better at this how can i become better at what i love to do and, mm-hmm. and in in this particular context right like put me on set i'm feel, i feel feel pretty comfortable but like oh my god like uh, and 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 through that, that actually is actually what sort of got me more clear and, and worked with like, and I sort of found a coach that really started working with me. And then I, I found that like, I found closer to what my process is, mm. you know, and the process of like, because it doesn't really matter who, you know, anybody can tell you how to do really anything. Like, yeah. it doesn't really matter until you make it your own, right? Yeah. You know, so you you gotta you gotta make it your own in the way that your unique mind understands it. And I swear, I, I was like literally, and you know, like many actors, I've taken classes and everything, and I'm just like trying to take it in and, and, uh-huh. and apply. But there are some things that, like as Bruce Lee says, you know, absorb what is useful, discard what is useless. You know. And and so 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 that 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 took and I'm still and of course it's the lifelong process it's a lifelong journey you know so it's we're always evolving and and 
and for me like that 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 I, I remember like there was one that was that one particular audition i was like man you know what i i i need to know what the fuck i'm doing man yeah i mean that's the thing it's like you know sometimes you can be on this run of having all these great moments but it's that one big l that really just like oh hold on a second like puts things into context context and you're like okay this is like a glaring spot that i need to work on and especially when it comes mm-hmm. to like something like an audition mm-hmm. or, or performance art where it's like you were there doing mm-hmm. it in front of people or there are people who are watching and like you just have this visceral feeling of and like, you're just trying to be in it you know yeah, yeah. and then you're just like i n- i never want to feel that way i never want to feel that way again and like you're no and then you know like nothing is more more terror no, nothing is more terrifying than a feeling feeling the feeling like um you have chosen to do something you don't know how to do it oh, <laughs> i like, know oh, yeah it's i mean like the imposter syndrome <laughs> is just like, like oh, wow through the roof oh, yeah oh my god i mean i'm and I'm, I'm, oh my god like 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 not even imposters it's like fraud <laughs> syndrome man and, and and i'm being very very honest i'm just sure like all these I, I, I I hope like you know there's some actors that haven't felt this, but I'm sure many actors have felt that way. Like, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I don't know anything. Well, that's I mean, it's, I've been doing it's, this is my living. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 cool to hear that um you know that that this is something that you know you you've learned from and that you continue to learn from. Um, switching gears a little bit, um, you know as most of the world uh, knows by now uh, we uh, unfortunately lost a very talented artist in Chadwick Boseman uh, which you posted about on Instagram um, and oh yeah. yeah I mean I mean Chadwick was only yeah. 43 um, and you know his early passing reminds 40, me I believe 45 uh, 40, 40, 40, 40 yeah 43 I think yeah 43, 43 yeah yeah, and you know his his passing reminded me um, of another really young actor who you had worked alongside with, um, who we lost a, a year ago, and who I had actually had the luxury of interviewing once, um, and that's Godfrey Gao. Um, you know, he was only thirty five when he passed. Um, you know, when you look at a talented, yeah, yeah. Ta- you know, these talented young artists like Chadwick and and Godfrey, who you know left us way too soon how does that make you feel about your own journey as an artist and actor? And like, how does that shape how you feel about having a legacy or having sort of your work being remembered? Like, how does that make you feel? Well, number one, I, I'm still sort of speechless and in shock um, over this. Like mm-hmm. I, I found out late last night. Yeah. And um, it's, it's it's it was shocking beyond words i mean but as far as how i feel about it, uh when you say how you feel about that do you mean how do i feel about having a legacy or how do i feel about anything in general i mean like I, i'm sure that this is you know these these moments sort of cause a mix of feelings from being sad to being grateful to being scared like you know, one, how was your sort of general and also reaction? the absence of feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, sort of the absence of feeling sometimes. Numb, numb is the lack of feeling. And, you know, and then, then it hits you like a flood later. You know, like, uh, I, I, I have unfortunately never had the opportunity to work with Chadwick Boseman. Um, but I just really loved what he brought to every role. I loved the choices he made as an actor because, you know, after he did 42, it's like, you know, the world is open to him. Yeah. You can pick a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he chose to do these biography films. He chose to do Marshall. He chose to do, you know, and also like these other things. And, you know, what it reminds me, it reminds me of Sidney Poitier. You know, he was like, I'm going to choose to do the things that, 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 that might make make my people proud yeah and also that are important to me right and and a challenge and so that 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 is something that i respect and then when i found out that he was going through chemo and oh my gosh. all these things like while while, uh, while he was doing this <laughs> wow yeah i mean like, like talk I'm about like, like talk about real life superhero complain. yeah mm-hmm. 
never complain, man. And the fact is, like, that you can do this thing. It makes me feel about. It makes me think a lot about the uh, the fleetingness of life. It yeah. makes me feel how blessed we are to have the time that we have. And also, it makes me feel like you know we don't. You never know, right? Like we have to only. We, that's why we, we must. It, life's too short to not to not do the thing that we we are. Not only passionate about, but also believe in. Yeah, you know. So, 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 so that's 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 one of the things that I think and feel in in this. And it happened after you know when when Godfrey passed, and and I was just grateful for the time that that I had with him. Yeah, and and he left me with great memories. You know. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's really.、Um... It really puts things in perspective, you know. And、um, you know,、uh, looking over, you know, our our sort of brief conversation, hearing what you had to say,、um, I'm really glad that someone like you is sort of part of this movement、um, because we need more people like you who can recognize not only your place in this moment, in this time, and in this movement, but also that you know you. Do want to represent the people, and you do want to take on these things for noble reasons. And I'm can be more excited.、Um, before I actually have you head out, Chen,、um, what are you working on, and where can we find you?、Um, well, obviously, Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> um,、uh, you see on Disney Plus, and、uh, and for those of the people in the world who are lucky enough to get it, go to the theaters,、um, you see it in theaters. And、uh, you know,、um, we're very excited about that. That's the weekend of the fourth of September. And then I'm also very, very blessed to be able to say that the second season of my show Warrior on Cinemax is is drop. We are dropping on October second, so it's next month, the month after Mulan. And、uh, I. I had such a wonderful time on that show, and、uh, really, my cast was a dream to work with. And it's, it's a, it's, it, and I, and I'm very real. It's like you know, if I, I wasn't on a good show, I wouldn't say this. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's a good show. I mean, I, I'm not gonna be like it's an Emmy winning show if if it's not a if it's like a crappy show. Like, yeah, 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 know, yeah, yeah. But, but、um, I mean, you have a killer was, cast and you have a, an amazing team working over there. Dude, and you know what? It's very underrated. I think I really believe it's well. You know, unfortunately, it's 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 a smaller channel, right? But、mm-hmm. but I believe that that it's 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 really a special show. And and I and I see a lot of shows and I see a lot of things. And I'm like, I was just watching the the the, the second season. I binged it one night because、uh, HBO gave us the screeners, and I was like, I'm gonna binge this show and and. Wow, like the nuance in it. It's just the the storytelling and the action, obviously. But I was like, I'm really, really proud of being on this show. Like, really, really proud.、Damn. Even more so now. You know, it's it's an excellent show. If you if you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, um, give it a chance. You know, give it a shot, and that'll be on Cinemax on October second. Awesome. Well, everybody, if you're watching, definitely check out Lun. Definitely go ahead and check out Warrior Season Two. Chen, it has been a pleasure. You are always welcome back on the show, and、uh, we will we will see you、um, on the big screen. Thank、right. you so much, man. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. Thank、awesome. you for having me. Definitely. All right, take care, Chen.